Hello high school astronomy students. This is the overview of the autumn sky. Let us of course start with the iconic constellation for the autumn and that one will be Pegasus. Pegasus dominates the center of the sky and it's in very easy shape to find and that, that is a square. So if we take a look without the lines you're just looking for these four stars right there to form a very large square. You will then use that square to find many other shapes in the sky. It does have a head. It's traced down here and the two front legs are here. Remember that Pegasus is seen upside down in our sky uh, with the head and below the legs. And you don't have a back half of the horse because it's considered to be hidden in the clouds. So that is our iconic constellation, Pegasus. From Pegasus, we'll now look at our four zodiac constellations, starting with the smallest one, and that's Aries the Ram. When you look for Aries, you want to use the bottom two stars of Pegasus. These two stars, when traced out to the left, will lead you over in this direction and lead you to these three stars, one, two, and three. Those three stars are really the only visible ones of Aries. Uh, Aries, when traced out, looks like this. Its area is bigger. Uh, it takes up that much area, but you can see there's not very many bright stars near those bright three ones. So really, all we say is look for the three stars that form the head of the ram. Those three stars right there. Bottom two stars of Pegasus. Take it across and run yourself into Aries. And that is Aries the ram. The next zodiac constellation after Aries is Pisces. Now Pisces is very, very large. It actually surrounds Pegasus. So if you see here, there's the square of Pegasus. And once you find that, you just look to the left and you find one fish here. Now this fish isn't very well defined, uh, not at least with the planetarium. So I always like to picture it with these, these couple more lines here. And so here's the full fish to the left. Here's the other fish below the square. There's your square, go down. There's your other fish. And then this line of stars are the connection, connecting piece. It's the string that ties their tails together. Uh, the, uh, back in history, or probably still to this day, they carry fish home sometimes this way. And this, of course, is Pisces the fish, one of the largest zodiac constellations. After Pisces the fish, you come to Aquarius the water bearer. Now he is a very faint constellation, so you really do need to use Pegasus to help you. Now Aquarius is located just down and right of Pegasus. So once you find Pegasus, again our iconic constellation, a large square, use the square to find Aquarius. You're going to go diagonally across the square and then keep going, and that will run you in, into this long line of stars. Now that long line of stars is actually not the most dominant feature of Aquarius. I think the most dominant feature is this oval that's caused down here. That is the pool of water that Aquarius is pouring out. So here's your pool of water, this oval shape of stars, and then up and across to actually see like him, his arms and the vessel that he's holding on to. So when I clear all of this out, you take a look. It's not very bright. There's the diagonal we need to hit. There's one, two, three stars of his arms. Then go down from there, and here's your oval. So when I trace it out, it's usually this oval connected to this line up here. That's how I usually trace Aquarius. Our last zodiac constellation is Capricornus, the sea goat. Now Capricorn is located very, very low. Uh, in our uh, autumn sky. It's, uh, it's not going to be too high above the horizon. Finding it is not too hard. You're simply going to take the diagonal that you took from Pegasus before, go across the three stars that are Aquarius, and you run right into the head of Capricorn. So this is the head of the goat. And I prefer to trace out uh, Capricorn is more like this. I don't like to put that last line 
because now this line represents the goat and this two lines represent the fishtail. So to me, as is usually the way I like to trace it out, is uh, now without the lines, I'll trace this part as the goat and then these two parts right here as the fishtail. So this creates Capricornus, the sea goat. Following the zodiac constellations, another quite important constellation in the autumn sky is the constellation of Andromeda. Now Andromeda is the chained princess. Now she shares a star with Pegasus, this one right here. So you'll notice there's the square of Pegasus and that top left star is also the head of Andromeda. All right, represents her head. Now, how to draw the body, that's her head, and then these two down stars down here would be her two feet. So when you see it without any lines at all, you simply go from the top star of Pegasus, top left star, travel down this arc of stars to that foot, and this fainter arc of stars to that foot right there. And that is Andromeda, the Chained Maiden. Inside Andromeda is our first object we'll be learning in our class here. It is the Andromeda Galaxy, located right there. So we call, we call it the Andromeda Galaxy because it is a spiral galaxy inside the constellation of Andromeda. Now when finding it yourselves, you want to take this, that top left star of Pegasus, travel down two stars down her left arc, and then almost go up two stars, one, two. Now that second star is gonna be the galaxy itself and it's gonna be very faint, but it is still visible without a telescope. One, so again, top star of Pegasus, one, two, one, two. That's the easiest way to find that faint galaxy. Now, of course, when you take a telescope to it, you realize this is a beautiful spiral galaxy, 2.6 million light years away. 2.6 million light years away, and we still can see it without a telescope. This is an incredible, incredible object, and that is why I want you to know about it. Again, top left star, Pegasus. Two down the left, uh, two down the left arc, up to, and there is your Andromeda galaxy. Following a drama is Perseus, the husband, boyfriend, mighty warrior of Andromeda. Now. Perseus can actually be found by first finding Andromeda. So here I've labeled Andromeda for you. And so what you want to do is go to that top star, Pegasus, go down her bottom arc. And then once you get there, just kind of keep going until you run into Perseus himself. So Perseus, the mighty warrior, uh, as you guys know from the story, saved Andromeda's life. And uh, it later became the husband of Andromeda. Now there is a star in Perseus. This is the only star in the autumn you're required to know, and that is the star Algol. It is extended off of this line, and if I put the picture on, you'll realize that it is his, uh, the, the hand of uh, Perseus, and inside Algol is Medusa's head. And that's exactly what Algol stands for. Algol translates into the demon's head, and we all know the demon is Medusa. All right, so if we go back to a blank sky, here's the square of Pegasus. Follow this line of Andromeda until you run into here, and then this star, or these stars right here, are Perseus, with the bright star, Algol. And last but certainly not least in our autumn sky is the constellation of Cetus the Sea Monster. Now, Cetus the Sea Monster is uh, a very dim constellation, but made up of shapes that catch the eye, if you will. Uh, easiest way to find it is to first find Pisces the fish. So again, there's our square of Pegasus. We know one fish is down, one fish is left. Once you find the two fish, make the V or the string that connects them. The brightest star in Pisces is actually the star at the bottom of the string right there. Now, once you find that star, it's good because then you look to the left and find the head of the sea serpent and look down right and find the body or the tail, I guess, of the sea serpent. When illustrated, the serpent looks like this. But really what you're looking for is sort of this pentagon on the left 
and large oval trapezoidal shape on the right. So when we clear out the lines, here's Pegasus, here's Percy, uh, Pisces, and then once we get to the end of Pisces, we look to the left and find this small little uh, pentagon. Move down here to find this large trapezoidal oval, I guess, shape right down here. So this is all right in here. Cetus, the sea monster. And with that, we now know our autumn sky. These would be all the constellations. One star and one object you are responsible to know. Pe Pegasus, again, our iconic constellation of Pegasus. Four zodiacs of Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricornus. Andromeda and Perseus, a uh, husband and wife. Algol, the demon's head of Medusa. And, of course, Cetus, the sea monster, all below.